The makeup of Israel's parliament saw a significant shift after the elections there this week. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's party scored the most votes. That was no surprise. But a moderate party called Yishatid, which means there is a future, placed second, scoring 19 seats in parliament. We're joined by Skype by one of those 19, uh, Rabbi Dove Lipman, who happens to be from the D.C. area, at least used to be. Uh, it's good to have you with us, uh, Rabbi Lipman. It's great to be with you, and even though I don't live there, still a Redskins fan. Uh, okay, well, we, we'll all mourn the Redskins uh, together <laughs> as we look forward to the Super Bowl. Um, what, what is the significance of your party claiming 19 seats, and, and what does it mean for a possible shift in uh, the future of Israel? It's significant in two ways. First of all, uh, that many people leading up to the elections were under the impression that Israel was undergoing some major shift to the extreme right. And I think that this election shows that that fear is uh, unfounded and the country is still very much in the center, pragmatic, searching uh, for a solution in terms of the Palestinian problem and exploring and negotiating uh, the two-state solution. Uh, aside from that, though, our flag going into this election, the Ashatid flag in our party, was very much domestic in nature as well. And the Israeli electorate has spoken, and they've clearly shown that whereas all the past elections have been purely about left versus right in terms of how to deal with the Palestinian issue, uh, here people are saying, wait a minute, we also have to take care of ourselves from within and address those burning issues. And Yesh Atid is the one party that really had uh, solutions and pragmatic uh, uh, plans to tackle those burning issues within Israeli society. From a U.S. perspective, there's been this perception that President uh, Obama and Prime Minister Netanyahu have not been the closest of friends and that perhaps some of that comes from pressure on Netanyahu's right. Uh, I wonder if, if you agree with that analysis and if the, the rise of your party uh, either creates a different dynamic or could change the U.S.-Israel uh, relationship. There certainly is that perception. I will say that the leader of our party, Yair Lapid, is a personality that everyone, uh, certainly in the American public and the international public, should get to know. Uh, he's a leader on the rise, and he's able to lift uh, a huge percentage of the people with his vision and his message. I think that our party does give, as you mentioned, the moderating uh, voice to Netanyahu as well. He does have more extremists within his party. If you break down just his Likud party, he has 20 seats, and we have 19, so we're essentially equal in size. Size. If our agenda can't move forward, uh, we, we are prepared fully to go to the opposition and build ourselves from there and come back hopefully as the ruling party. But that's the most critical point right now is to see what direction uh, the prime minister goes to in terms of forming the coalition. At that point, we'll see where our in area of influence will be. Uh, as we said, you're from this area, uh, originally from Silver Spring, Maryland. And you moved over eight and a half years ago, and now as you take your seat in parliament, uh, will be relinquishing your U.S. citizenship. Why have you done this? I grew up in a very patriotic American family, and I recognize what the United States of America has meant to our family as refugees from you know, way back in the end of the uh, 19th century from Russia to Holocaust survivors who found a safe haven and really able to build themselves. So this is not something which I take lightly. I moved here as an educator, and as I started noticing some of the issues within Israeli society, I was put in a position for a variety of reasons based on my background where I could be of help. I became active, and when you become an activist, you realize that you can only do so much, and then it enters into the realm of the politic, uh, politics and the political realm. But I think that I, I bring something uh, to the Israeli political realm, uh, which is fresh and new, and I'm just honored uh, to be the one sitting in that position. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. I look forward to being in touch.